Welcome to Revival Report. Here's an exciting revival story for you. Dateline Las Vegas. Firefighters revive puppies using CPR. <laughs> That's the headline of a story that goes on to tell that North Las Vegas firemen recently responded to a house fire in which they found two unresponsive puppies. But after the fire crew administered cardiopulmonary resuscitation, the puppies were revived and were soon running around as the firefighters mopped up the blaze. Now, you may be saying, well, that's not the kind of revival story I'm used to hearing on Revival Report. And you're right. But it illustrates a point about the meaning of the word revival. Notice it was live puppies who were revived in this story, not rocks or bricks or other inanimate objects. That helps us understand what we mean when we use the word revival as it applies to people. The word revive is made up of two parts. The re prefix means again, as in redo. And the vive part comes from a word meaning life. So to be revived is to come back to life. We often think of revival as meaning evangelism and that the people being revived are lost sinners in need of salvation through Christ. But a popular definition of revival indicates that it is an extraordinary movement of the Holy Spirit in his church. Revival is not about bringing life to those who are spiritually dead in their sins. It is about awakening the people of God, the saints, to a renewed holiness, passion, and devotion to Christ. Now, when that happens in the church, it will result in evangelism and conversions, and we'll talk about that next week. In the meantime, won't you pray with me that God will revive his church so that we will be operating in the unstoppable power of the Holy Spirit.